they infiltrated their way, just like Mac did, yep. into the design community. Yes. Right? And we embraced it. And mm -hmm. um, what really fucked us all over mm -hmm. is when they finally went to the cloud. Because yes. then yes. everybody was trapped. Yep. Right? It was nice when you were able to just buy a copy. Mm. <laughs> oh, my Buy God. a copy. Yeah, buy a <laughs> You're listening to the Angry Designer Podcast, where we help frustrated graphic designers crush the industry bull and learn what it takes to charge what you're worth and build badass, rewarding careers. In this episode, we're going to talk about all that is going on in the news right now with everybody's favorite design software, Adobe. And you're going to learn why designers feel so technologically overwhelmed right now, why the technical and soft skills factors that designers have aren't going to let us leave Adobe anytime soon, no matter how pissed off we are, and of course, ways to overcome all of these factors if in fact you do want to try some other design software and cut the ties. So grab yourself a drink and relax or hang on to that steering wheel extra tight because we might be hitting some nerves on this episode and of course if you're at work well just keep on hammering down on adobe and enjoy dun, dun, dun. The thunder uh, all right yes K -K 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 chaos <laughs> <laughs> there's chaos all over the world chaos everywhere first the most important piece of chaos that yeah. we have going on right now is mm -hmm. if you guys recognize look we're drinking i'm a root fusion and and it's last week's drink yeah the reason being is our, our liquor stores are on strike up here in Canada. If you can believe that. Yeah, you're There's a little bit of chaos going on there, Big right? time. Yeah, we'll Jeez. be forced to drink beer or cough syrup or something. Cough syrup. <laughs> Vanilla extract. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so that, that's a little bit of chaos. That's crazy chaos, But before man. we get on to other chaos, yeah. let us give yes. ourselves a nice... No need to critique this one because we know. We already do know. But it is good to know. Hmm. Oh, but it does feel good. And I, I really needed this because yeah. this has been one of those days. It's been a day, mm -hmm. hasn't it? Mm -hmm. A day and a week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Where's the other chaos? <laughs> Sounds uh, like Adobe. Yes, and shit, I was just going to say, according to that video that you sent of that poor gentleman who was losing his fucking mind it's everywhere over right adobe yeah. yeah adobe's they've they've pissed off some of the wrong yeah. people yeah um like you want to talk about chaos adobe right now like not just one issue yeah but two fucking issues <laughs> big ones right too. like yes. huge yes. so one is their whole privacy policy change right mm -hmm. part way through i guess they they posted up an updated privacy policy some yeah. people actually went in and read it mm -hmm. and it was saying shit like we can use your this material that's whatever you upload is ours yes basically it's yeah. like we have it we can use it for how we want to mm -hmm. and and we can use it to train our ai and blah 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 which then made me realize and think like you know like that's kind of scary because that means they're watching what you're working on yeah every single because uh, they must be because yeah. i mean again number one the cloud mm -hmm. right like mm -hmm. it's always connected to your damn platform right yeah yep. but then it's like how many times i don't know if this happened to you but many many times i'm using generative ai yeah and it refuses to do what I ask. And it's like, this goes against our policies and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I'm not even doing anything <laughs> bad. It makes me feel wrong. But I'm not like doing any anything rude or obscene. Yeah. I'm like, expand the background, yeah. add more this, add that. Really? Our, you know, we can't. Do, and then so you just, yeah, you rephrase it and then it does it. But oh. but it makes me wonder, like, what are they always watching? So anyway, mm. that was a little upsetting. Yeah. And that has gotten them into a lot of heat, basically, that that they're claiming they can own it all. Yeah. And then they went back and be like, no, no, Hold no, on, no, no, no. We didn't mean that. We it, didn't and, mean it like that. And that whole PR spin where they had the fucking lawyer. Who with, looked like she was 12. Who was, and, and could, and sounded like Satan. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. that was, that was really bad. It was. What a bad way to have, to have your lawyer go on and make that video. This is how desperate like, things are there. That's horrible. So yes. anyway, that pissed off a lot of people. And then the FCC, mm. the fucking government is suing them for shady licensing practices <laughs> and, and billing, which... I have experienced myself. You have. I was I, just going to say. Yeah. As an agency owner, it's like, you know, you they make you buy a seat. I buy a seat. And then, okay, you know, they you buy that seat. Then you have to get an employee on their platform and assign that employee to that seat. Mm. So if that employee leaves halfway through the year, 
Well, they're not giving you any money back. Yeah. You're actually not paying month by month. This is an annual contract. Yeah, it says. It, it gives you a it monthly price. It tells you you yes. get a monthly price, but yeah. no, 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 no. No, not at all, right? And so, <laughs> and I mean, many of us get kind of, you know, screwed on that one because we yeah. don't realize it. Yeah. If you sign up somebody halfway through the year, you have to buy a half a seat or a, a mm. two-thirds seat or a one-third seat, and then it, it, it kind of prorates it yeah. to that price. And, and again, it's like, yeah, I've been caught in that. But then- wow. Uh, but then try to talk and get it sorted out with yeah. Adobe. It's impossible. Yeah. You know, we had another issue with Adobe. You know, we used Captivate, I think it was. Oh, it was right. another, yeah. they had bought yeah. it. They had bought this company out and they merged it in, right? And it was no problem. There was no way for me to attach this Captivate to our company plan. So <laughs> their recommendation was create a Gmail address <laughs> and create a new account and pay us through that fucking account. What? I, dude, I, I I couldn't believe the, because they couldn't attach it to our, our existing professional account. So they wanted you to go out and buy a new one, create so a new one. So there is now, I have two shitty accounts because that was the only way I could do it. <laughs> so now in my Adobe account, I'm always like, oh fuck, which account was it? Which And one of them is oh, a fake account, right? Yes. Oh, dude, it was, yeah, this is it. That one, that one, I, I got over that one because- yeah. But I mean, uh, these are pretty big deal. Yeah, that's <laughs> is- that's huge. And you know, the funny thing, back to your point of the other with with the uh, the people uploading stuff. Mm-hmm. Think if if you were a photographer and you uploaded something ten years ago. Yes, and they're using that. To train their AI. And they could redistribute it. Yes. No, not just training the AI, but yep. then there's a redistribution license yep. under a third party, which yep. means what? They can take it and now sell it on, on, on their own behalf. And exactly, yeah. Dude, like, it is pretty bad. It's shady, shady business. Yeah. You know, it, it sucks because Adobe is that platform. That what are you going to do? You, kind of, <laughs> really. <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's, it's that platform that the industry relies on. Mm-hmm. Okay, whether we want to admit it or not, right? Like, yeah. you know, this industry relies on Adobe. I, sadly, I mean, I was thinking back to when I started in this, and, you know, Adobe Illustrator was the second app I learned yeah. after, like, Super Paint. <laughs> <laughs> Super Paint? <laughs> and Super Paint wow. is like that shit that comes on the map, oh, oh, right? Really? And it was all raster-based. And so that, oh. you know, uh, so I've known, I've been using Illustrator for, what, the, the greater part of 30 fucking years. Yeah, since right? it came out. So it's, it's, you know, you're so used to it. It's 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 the only um, illustration product, basically, that I've ever used. Okay, yep. not page layout. No, nope. that's different. I've, yep. I've Page layout, I did We've uh, been page make. Yeah, page maker. And then I did Quark Express. Mm -hmm. And then the only reason I went to InDesign, it wasn't because it was better than Quark, Mm -hmm. but because they included it. So it was a smart, scrupulous business practice. They included, kind of like how uh, Bill Gates included, uh, remember he he included a copy of of Windows in all computers to basically make the whole world force them to to get on a Windows, kind of fuck Mac in that case. They kind of did this to Quark page layout. And they're like, hey, well, here's here's InDesign. It's our version of Quark and it's much better because it easily integrates with Illustrator and Photoshop. And I think I remember at the time everybody was like, "Well, all right, you yeah. know, it's it's we fought it for a little bit, but yeah. man, it was just in the end, it was just eh. it, was, it was. And you know, the funny thing is, is I remember uh, it. I'm so old that I remember InDesign yep. used to have Quark key commands. You could set yes, it. Yes, it did. Yeah, you See? could set it because I was like, yes, fucking that I, was I, smart. Yeah, exactly. Yes, it was I, I, that I lived my life by the key commands, and and I couldn't. I just couldn't get in design mm. key commands. I got it now, but I mean. <laughs> absolutely, yeah. absolutely. They infiltrated their way, just like Mac did, yep. into the design community. Yes. Right? And we embraced it, and mm-hmm. um, it was it was cool. But I think what really fucked us all over mm-hmm. is when they finally went to the cloud. Yes. Because then yes. everybody was trapped. Yep. Right? It was nice when you were able to just buy a copy. Mm. <laughs> oh, my Buy God. a copy. Yeah, buy, a, <laughs> buy a disc. Right, yeah. right. No, no, no. Buy a a copy. Oh. <laughs> oh, I see what you're saying. Right. Yes. But I mean, you yes. you would have a, a version of like Illustrator or Photoshop that was like years old, right? Yeah. But oh, as yeah. soon as they went to the cloud, yep. that was that, that was, was gone, done. Yeah. right? You you're constantly had to verify licenses. So for them, from a business perspective, it's brilliant. But then yeah. all of a sudden, it's like, we kind of got screwed out of the deal, right? We couldn't yes. use the same software forever, yeah. right? Which some people kind of appreciate. I don't know. Like, it's just, that's that's when it felt 
like a business. It to did. Me. Then it went. Yeah, it was. It was like, oh my god, we can make a shit ton of money because no, yes. there's no longer piracy. It, well, yeah, yeah, and I mean, this okay, is, fine. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. I mean, again, it's like before that, you know, Adobe actually felt. Like it was a, it was for designers. Yes. Right. And granted, yeah, fine. A lot of people use pirated copies. That's part of the industry. That's always yeah. that was part of the world back then, right? Yeah. Yeah. Still is. I mean, very much so. But as soon as they went to the cloud and then they started doing these the payment practices, right? It, it started making them feel not for the people, but it started making them feel like they were just a business, just like everybody else. Yep. Yep. Right. Like lo and behold, they don't do us a favor. No. They're in it for the money. They're in it for the money. And good for them that they kind of make it look like they're for the designer. <laughs> and in all fairness, right? Do like Adobe Max, right? Like, oh, I mean, huge okay. conferences just yeah. for designers all yeah. over the world, right? Educational seminars just for designers, mm. right? Um, you know, they sponsor, you know, awesome social media people that we know and, and love and respect, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, they offer education everywhere. Like, you know, it's shit like this that, you know, um, it, it makes them kind of seem like they are for us and they're doing this for us, but they're not doing it for us. Yeah. They are marketing to us. Mm -hmm. And we have to remember that. Yeah. So when shit like this FCC comes out, when this privacy policy, this really taints that whole, you know, relationship that we have. Yep. With Adobe, yeah, because then it makes it feel like, oh, you're actually not in it for me. Yes, this, this really is. I am just a dollar figure for yep, you. That's you don't exactly give it. two fucks if they I'm getting care. better at my skills. Yep. you don't care if I'm like following, you know, designers to improve my skills or getting free sessions on your Adobe. You, you don't care. No. Nope. So, and that's that's kind of the slap in the face because I mean, designers are we're we're, we're empaths. Yeah, yeah, we're a sensitive bunch. So yeah. all of a sudden, it's just like, wow, was that was I shammed all this time? <laughs> yeah, and. And, and I mean, we have always blindly followed what uh, Adobe has done. You know what right? I mean? Like, <laughs> totally. I, can, I have never, you know, like for years and years and years, it's been Adobe products. Mm -hmm. Like you mm -hmm. said, like, this is all we know. This is pretty much the only game in town. Right. Maybe. And so basically you have to do <laughs> yeah. what they say and, and then they move to the cloud and they keep updating their platform and you got to do a new version update and this yes. and that. We've had so much technical shit to deal with all this time. Yeah. Now they fucking throw all these moral dilemmas that we have to deal with too. <laughs> and I'm just like, what guy work with me here, people? Give am me something. I, am I a good person because I use <laughs> Adobe products? I don't know. <laughs> You know, it's it's totally common. It, I know we. I know I'm not the only one. I know all designers. They're, they're we are technology overwhelmed. Oh uh, yes. You know yeah. what I mean? Like right. it's it's you know we we've got this constant need that we have to keep up with this shit and we have to keep learning and it, it, it's a tough gig. It is right. Yeah. Like it really is. Yeah. Yeah, it's too bad because like, and and we see you and I see this all the time with our with our friends like Bernard James Bernard. Yep, that guy is a fucking wizard. Yes, like he knows his. How shit. does he know so much I about that program? I don't know. I, and how does he work? He just how pulls he, this shit out. I, He's just like, wait, you need to change the color of your car and the wheels at the same time. <laughs> don't do it this way. Yes. Let me show you. Clickety click, <laughs> barber <laughs> trick, dude. I'm just like. How the hell did you find wait, that? Wait, wait, slow that down. Yeah, yeah exactly. good on him. Yeah, like oh. this is true, and he's working while yes. he's doing this. Yeah, I know. Do you know, know what I mean? I like, know. like I look at this stuff and I think, oh, I got to learn how to do that. Uh, nope, there's <laughs> too much to do today. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I push that on to next time. Oh yeah. man, it's it's you know what? And the problem is, it's like this stuff is happening so fast. Yeah, yes. it is hard to keep up with. The we are the only freaking industry that okay, uh, software is our tools. Yep, like it or not, it's our tools. You know, maybe some of us will have notepads and pencils still for sketching this. But let's face it, we we we're one hundred percent digital now. Yep. graphic yep. designers are all digital now. Yep. And yet, okay, and our tools are computers, right? But mm -hmm. our tools are the only tools that <laughs> constantly outdate as fast as they do. You know, a plumber has been plumbing, and although plumbing technology, they went from copper to, you know, ABS yes, and yes. now to flex, yes. but they're still using wrenches that you basically can understand. They're still yeah. using the same compounds to, to stick things together. I have friends who are CNC, you know, and millwrights, yeah. right? CNC yeah. machinists, millwrights, they have thousands and thousands of dollars in tools yeah. 
Well, it's still the same shit. It's going to be this, and it's going to be the same for twenty years they, too, right? They don't have to re-educate yeah. themselves, right? Yeah. Because they're, they're they are machinists. Yes. Yet you know they don't have to relearn how to be a machinist better, faster. <laughs> yeah. Because you know, their tools because are outdating them. <laughs> exactly. We are designers. Ugh. We we design. We yeah. solve problems. Yet one big fucking problem that we have is that we are constantly trying to keep up. Yeah. With the technology that is, it, it's just it's going at such a fast pace that it is fuck. It is so overwhelming. Well, it's then. crazy, and 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 how often does a does a hammer's operating system stop? You know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, you have right. to, you have to go buy a new a hammer. Project. Yeah, <laughs> damn it! Like, I well, can't this, fix your leak. Yeah. <laughs> this, this this hammer won't work with any other products I have, so I got to get a new one. <laughs> I'll like, be right back. <laughs> or you pause halfway through a project. Oh wait, sorry. Imagine if that happened to a fucking <laughs> doctor while he was doing it at the desk. <laughs> Yeah, it's no shit. <laughs> oh, like, oh, 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 there goes the scalpel this, needs yeah, this, to be resharpened. Yeah, his tool is out of date. His tool is out of date. <laughs> you have to wait for two weeks so I get the new one. <laughs> oh, yeah, my. yeah, that's absolutely crazy. Great yeah, analogy. Ra that's rapid technology advancements are driving us nuts. Yeah. There's, there's no question, sure. right? The complexity of the tools that we're dealing with are getting crazier and, cra and we joke about this. Yeah. You know, again, you know, God bless James for being able to figure out, you know, ways and getting things done faster. Mm -hmm. But I can't find, I, I'm watching him now, not because I love the guy, but because it's like, <laughs> shit, I need to know how to do this. Quick, go yeah, through his catalog. Go through his go catalog. Through his catalog. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's a plug for our friend, James Big Bernard. He's, <laughs> but he really is, is he knows he does. every fucking inch of Illustrator. Which Absolutely. Is, and, and the funny thing is, is there's, there's a lot of stuff that we know how to do. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, I used to think I really had a good grasp on Illustrator, but like you were talking about, Adobe keeps, keeps updating putting, and changing and, things and putting right? new things yep. in there, and it's just like, yeah, oh, it's so overwhelming. Which then makes you feel watching this do this, right? Like mm -hmm. watching these guys, um, you know, being able to be like, hey, you've been doing that wrong all yeah. these years. You should be doing it this way. Yeah. Well, that adds, so again, going back with this technology being overwhelmed, you know, this now adds competitive pressure because yeah. I'm seeing, I'm like, you know, yes. James is great. Yeah, yeah. Am I that far behind him now? <laughs> because I didn't know how to do that. And yeah. I appreciate that he's learning, but then it's him and then it's somebody else. And it's I'm, I'm all these things wrong. So now there's this whole competitive pressure that if I don't know, and then comes the whole fact of, am I doing it right? Yes. Is that, yes. you know, but we've had this talk before. Who fucking yeah. cares how I'm doing it? If if I'm only doing that that task once a year, yes, and I need to figure out how to jam in bubble text into a a, a shoelace, you know, or yeah. or what have you, or, or some sort of oblong object, eh, maybe I'll fake it. Yeah. I don't because I won't remember how the fuck he did it, <laughs> exactly. and if I can't find it in his library, I'm screwed. <laughs> Um, you know, but then then there's this pressure that, you know, like if we fall behind mm -hmm. and again, already I'm kind of feeling like, holy shit, I can't keep up with James. Um, and I love James. I don't know why I'm picking on James. You know, no, I'm yeah, not picking yeah, on we're James. Certainly not picking on yeah. but, but people who are like, you know, you, you, technology is moving so fast. Yes. The way to do things is going so fast. I'm not keeping up with them. Now, am I going to be falling behind on my client's expectations? Ah. Right. And are they expecting me to keep up with this shit the same way they are? Right. right. I'm feeling like I'm going to be letting down my customers mm. now. Yeah. which I feel bad about, which, and again, this is just so much to process yeah. because it's not me, it's the damn tools yeah. <laughs> that I'm exactly. using. I'm still able to create the exact same really cool fucking piece of work in the end, but yeah. damn it. But yeah, there's, and you think there could be a more efficient way of doing it too. Yeah. But I mean, is it more efficient if you have to spend extra time to learn how to do this? How do you remember to but, keep but, doing it? Yeah, but that's the thing, and, and it's the repetitive part of it. Yes. You and I have been doing yep. what we've been doing for so many years. It's just like second nature to us. Mm -hmm. right? There's, you, you see something and you're like, okay, I know exactly how to do that. Boom, boom, boom. It's yeah. done. You know. But yeah. there's probably there are other things that are kind of like. Oh, you, you know what I do What's every, that? every time. Cause again, in order to keep this continuous learning cycle going over and over, right? Like yep. you say, I, anytime I see something I like, like, Hey, oh, I see James. He's like, Hey, I, I got this new trick. You should see this, right? I'm not going to remember that because I'm usually watching it at six in the morning or 11 o'clock at night. Yep. So I email myself. 
his his oh, Instagram. Uh, so my email has got like a thousand full. James, you know, James Bernard. It's pretty creepy. It's like I'm stalking the guy. Somebody's like, why you got so? But I email that clip to me and I'll, yes. I'll, 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 in the subject line, I'll put it in detail yeah. as much as possible. Yes. I will. This is a tip for you guys. And yeah. I will be like, hey, you know, um, word, crop, oblong shape, blah, 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 right? And it's just like, I, I completely put like as many characters as I can in that subject line. Yeah. Right. And I email it to myself. <laughs> so you know. And then I archive it. So it's like, okay, you know, I remember James did this once. I'm going to go into my email and try to find it. Yes. Right. So this is how I'm actually trying to keep track of all this incredible tech. Yeah. But, but it's like, cause it's just, consist- you're, cons- you're consistently learning yeah. at a pace that, I mean, I know we said we always have to learn as designers. Yeah. But it is it is overwhelming when it I'm is. learning so much about customers, about technology, now how to do these tricks. And then we have to think about the workflow disruptions. Mm. Oh, you yeah. know what I mean? Right. Like when I do have to try to, so I, I used to do something apparently an archaic way. Right. And then I'm like, oh shit. Like I remember watching an episode of James doing this. And so I'm going to look that up. And now all of a sudden I'm taking a pause Mm -hmm. to go back and try to find it. So it's kind of disrupting that whole workflow where it's like, chances are, you know, I I, I could just wing it the way I've been doing it all this time. Yes. Right. So there is something to be said about that where where it's like, well, do I not? But it makes me feel like I have to do it the right way now or this new way because. You know, Adobe created a new way of doing this yeah. that nobody fucking knew. Yeah. Except James. Except James. <laughs> and um, and and now I have to figure out how to do it his way, right? Yeah. Which is really cool. I, you know, overall, it's like it's this technological overwhelming that I think graphic designers feel really have they put stress on our our, our mental well being. I yes. think anyway. I think there's a mental health impact yeah. that that we have to be cautious of. Yeah. And we have to almost like, you know, how much of this is like why does a company like Adobe have to do these updates so often, so much and so everything, right? Yes, exactly. And, and it makes me wonder, it's like how many people work at Adobe now? Yeah. Back when they were putting out the discs, oh, you know, yeah, you're, good you're question, getting eh? you're getting Photoshop 5 or whatever like that on your on your disc. There probably was wasn't the staff that they have now. I yeah, I agree. I hundred percent. I think, like I said, they may have started as a designer focused company. Now they are a marketing company. Yes. Their product is software, and their clients are are graphic designers. Yeah. Because I bet you, I bet you, over half, if not two thirds, of that company is sales and marketing. Uh, you're probably right. Honestly, yeah. like the yeah. development. I mean, they built a great platform. It's working. But I mean, I'd be curious to see what that breakdown yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Needless to say, though, I mean, again, we have other options. Mm-hmm. There's no question. There are other options other than Ooh, Adobe. That's scary too. I, I know, but the reality is, <laughs> I don't know if I'd leave. Yeah, this is the thing. Right. This yeah. is the shitty part. After everything yeah. that we just complained about and the <laughs> torture that they're giving us, you know, and the scrupulous billing practices yeah. and this and that, I still don't know if I'd ever leave. I wouldn't. I, I can tell you right now, it, it's going to take a lot more to make me leave Adobe yeah. than this. What if you started to have to pay double for every seat Oh you have. man, I would hate them. I would cringe. I would raise the client's rates enough to compensate. Oh, okay. Again, I don't, I don't know. I mean, again, price, if they were to jack up the prices that much or be like the, the agency should pay more than the freelancers, uh, you know, I don't know that that might be enough, right? Like, you know, it's just the problem is they are the industry standard. Yeah. And everybody knows this, yeah. right? So because it's the industry standard, it's like I have now tried to elevate our business to a new standard, yeah. you know, than we were 10 years ago, five years ago, definitely 20 years ago. Mm-hmm. So it's like you want to hold yourself to that standard, yeah. right? And do I want to feel as scrappy as I did when we started? I don't know. Like I never in a million years would have would have ever thought that I am paying $20,000 a year on software licenses, right? I definitely, like, like, I mean, like, God, that was like, that was like our profit, like, yeah. you know, 10, 20 years ago, well, <laughs> yes. 20 years ago, but yeah. still it was just like, yeah, you couldn't. And now that's, that's our software licenses yeah. fees annually. Yeah. So fucking it, ridiculous. Right out of the gate. Imagine yeah. if you were a fledgling agency, this is what you're have, what you have to deal with. Right. Kind of, right. Yeah. You know, and then there's the whole fact that the fucking, the software is like, you know, so, okay, there's that whole standards thing, right? Industry standards, the software. Okay, even though, you know, key commands are opposite between Illustrator and Photoshop, which yep. I still don't fucking get. I, I don't get that either. And if you guys are like, no, they're not. You know what? 
Try to resize an image in Illustrator and see if it's fixed proportions versus stretchy. And then do the same thing in Photoshop and realize it's opposites. Yeah. It's opposites. One puts an image and you can scale it proportion. You know, and the other one is all flex and you can see. So, and, but it's Illustrator and Photoshop. They yeah. should have the same key commands. Exactly. I bet you James has a solution for that. He probably does. <laughs> my solution is to go to the classic settings. <laughs> oh my God, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> but it, but I mean again it's it's you know in theory the programs work pretty nice you know one another right the copy paste They're I can great. go from Photoshop to Illustrator oh, yes. I can put a vector from Illustrator right into Photoshop there's my smart object yes you know there's so many so there's another factor there that they work nice together they really have improved the compatibility of all oh, of for that, sure they have of all that stuff for sure they have it used to be three different programs working three different ways mm -hmm. right. Like you literally had to import things into yes. InDesign years ago. Now yep. Yep. it's drag and drop. And yeah, it's just that's true. I wonderful. know, I know, right? So, which is great. So yeah. again, but that's because th there's a good, you know, symbiotic relationship between those three platforms. They've figured right? that out and They could do those... it all in one, yeah. but they won't. Yeah, exactly. Because then you'd have to pay for one license. Yeah. So that's not the case, right? <laughs> but I mean, they do that well, right? There's this whole learning curve of you know even though granted i bitch about the learning curve every time they put a new feature mm. out on a new platform but there's a hesitancy about a learning curve with a whole new platform mm -hmm. that i'm yeah you know i think is one of the reasons why because i got so many other shit to deal with on a regular basis yep. do i want to deal with that right oh, i don't know if i want to deal with that not this doesn't apply to us but i know some people they they have um adobe certifications right that's yes. a big deal right. to people, yeah. right? So just like Google has, you know, AdWords certifications, people use it as part of their, who they are in their mm. space, right? Oh. That's probably a reason why some people leave, but that doesn't apply to us yeah. so much. I mean, again, I don't care about that. However, there is file compatibility issues that I, I would be scared about, not right. just Kurt projects, mm -hmm. right? But what about like my backlog of projects? Right. So what I'm, do you do I'm with that? Yeah. right? Like, w would I be able to take an old, so fair enough, I could finish a project in Illustrator, but then let's say in the future, I want to open up an uh, an archived version, right? Even sometimes Illustrator has issues opening up old <laughs> Illustrator versions. <laughs> so I'm hesitant on what happens if I'm, you know, switch platforms altogether. Right. So that, you know, there's a worry about that. And again, you know, I hate to say it, but you know, because Adobe is this fucking trillion billion dollar company. Okay, not trillion billion, yeah, yeah. but still. Close. Uh, they're, sure. they're a billion dollar company, right? They are putting, they are probably the most advanced illustration software, design software, Photoshop-y software, you yep. know what I mean? Like they do our industry right software-wise and maybe because we've pushed it so far, but mm -hmm. it's it's hard. I mean, they've got AI in there. Yeah. They've it, I, And I don't like this cloud-based shit, but it's there for the people who use, you know, they're, they're, they have cloud storage, you know, like it's like, it's so advanced. There's yeah. some respect there, Yeah. but I, I don't touch that. But again, I my hesitancy to leave, I can't figure it out. I can't figure it out if it's just because, you know, I'm loyal to yeah. it, yeah. even though, you know, like some people argue that there's better computers for graphic design than Macs. I'm loyal to a Mac. Yeah. I will stay with a Mac till I die yeah. Yeah. because I've been doing it my whole life. I've been yeah. doing it for 30, 35 years. Yeah. Like that's the only computer I've ever touched. Yeah. Even Is there some sort of loyalty? But that loyalty doesn't come the other way. No, it certainly doesn't. No. It's like, what is that relationship when you're in a bad relationship yes. and you can't get out? Because you, you yes. always make excuses. Exactly. Maybe I'm living what? that with Adobe. <laughs> I think we are. Maybe in <laughs> Apple. We're, we're just <laughs> Don't talk bad about Apple, man. <laughs> I know. But it's like, you know, it's like maybe I'm just blind to to make this move because there is other options out there. Yes. There, there are. absolutely yep, is. Yep. What was I looking at? You know, for a little while internally, we were using Sketch, Sketch. Um, on the iPad, but I know that there's a, a desktop version, like mm. as opposed to Illustrator. Yeah. Okay. Um, so there's definitely a replacement for Illustrator, a good quality one. And mm. I think I think Affinity has this yes. other alternative for Illustrator, and that's yep. huge it's momentum. Yeah. Did you notice... When all this shit with um, Adobe came out, Affinity is like, hey, 50% yeah, off but <laughs> everything right now. But this is capitalism in a nutshell, right? And, and it At makes, its finest, and in it my makes opinion. me wonder, to your point before, like, has Adobe got so, such a hold on us mm -hmm. that we would never, ever consider something like that? Yeah, interesting. You like, know do what? you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's kind of like, and they're like, hey. Yeah, <laughs> you know? you're right. You're right. Are they good? I mean, there's a you have what a six months 
six month free trial. Oh my god! But not even that. This. It's like it's affinity. If I'm not mistaken, it's like it's a pay once and you get it. It's oh. not like you're not like paying monthly oh, and ongoing. You're not committed. I think I could be wrong, and maybe I'll double check and correct me if I am wrong, guys. Yeah. But I mean, I think Affinity is like, and I know that they have an Illustrator version. Yeah, I know they have a Photoshop version. Yeah, right. They've got a. They've a, got a, the big three. They've got the three, and they've got yeah. their layout version. Yeah, and it is. I don't know if it's the number two right now, but I've seen it. I've played with it. You oh, know, you online. Oh, okay. Well, you know what it is. It's a pared down version yes. of what we're using. Right, but. We're using 90%, 95% the exact same tool yeah, over and over. I know. I know. And I think that's what this has. Now, there's a little bit of like, where, uh, am I am I losing out? But I'm not using that other shit. This is exactly it. So I don't know. Like it's, um, th there are really solid options, right? I mean, Photoshop, there's also GIMP, which yep. I know some of our oh, programmers right. used to GIMP. use. And that's come a long really? way, right? Yeah, GIMP's come along. And what believe it or not, me. for lay, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Bring out the gimp. <laughs> and um, you know, for layout, mm -hmm. do you know that Quark Express is still out there? Oh, <laughs> come on. <laughs> I'm serious. You can, yes. What? If you well, want to leg up, we can, we don't want to <laughs> use that. <laughs> but honestly, um, like Quark Express still exists. Wow. Yes, I know. The little fighter. There's something cool about That's if cool. I was to be like, you know what? I'm dropping in design. I'm going to Quark, right? Yeah. That, that would be cool. Yeah. But I don't do layout. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know that's the thing. It's like the InDesign is just yeah. It's what is wrong with you? You yeah, know what I mean? I know, like, right? <laughs> it's just so fucked up. But you know, like there is you know, and the Sorry, funny thing I'll... is, even even Premiere. Yeah. Right. Like mm -hmm. um, Adobe Premiere. Yeah. I don't use Adobe. I keep saying I'm going to get into it. I keep saying I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. But I I've been using Camtasia for yeah. years. Yes. It is a much much lighter version yeah. of of Adobe, but everything that you guys see on our podcast, everything on our YouTube, it's all done in Camtasia, Camtasia. right? Right? You, could, I, you wouldn't tell the, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Okay, maybe I can't do the crazy Adobe After Effects shit, but I guarantee you, I can import that shit <laughs> into Camtasia. I yep. guarantee fucking to you. Yeah. So there are really good alternatives out there. No, hey, shit, this isn't even to mention any of the web based shit that's out there, right? Because there is a lot of web based design tools, Illustrator tools you know photo editing tools right but mm -hmm. that's that's a whole other world yeah it's just saying that there's so much that we can do if we just if we're willing to explore a little bit more right but it's again back to what you said you could you could learn the the premiere suite or yep. the premiere yep, yep, program yep, yep. but that is going to be a big time suck that fucking dashboard is scary you're AF. right you're right there is um i think there's a lot more as you as you called this is your thing but i think there's a lot more soft skills or psychological uh, factors right that like Okay, Adobe's got their reasons why I wouldn't leave Adobe, but I yeah. bet you there's a lot more personal shit mm -hmm. for designers why they won't leave. You're you probably know, right. Adobe. Yeah. Like not, nothing to do with even Adobe. You know, the loyalty factor, fine. I talked about that maybe. Mm -hmm. But you know, there's there's a comfort zone factor. Yeah. Right? You yeah. Oh, we're really confident. You know, you're in your comfortable car. You're, you know, you're you're safe. It's good. You know you can turn it out. Yeah. Is that worth that sixty, seventy dollars a month that we pay for each one of that, right? So there's that idea, yeah, yeah, right? There's yeah. the whole fear and, and failure is a whole thing, right? Mm -hmm. Like the fear of failure. Because if you jump onto a new, if I was to jump into Affinity, I guarantee you that, you know, I could create something awesome in Affinity. Yep. You know, no problem. Yep. But the thing is, I don't know 100% because there's the fear of the unknown, right? I don't know. I don't have the training. I don't know. Can I crank out a logo the same? I'm sure I can, mm -hmm. but there is always going to be, there's that comfort mm -hmm. versus going on. To, and it's like, how how easy is it for designers to get out of their comfort zone? Yeah. I don't know about yeah. that. Yeah, exactly. Especially when you're where we are, where time is of the essence, right? Like you can't, yeah. you don't have time to kind of fuck around looking for key commands and, and, exactly. and, and okay i used to do this here but it's exactly the opposite over here the, the cognitive load exactly. right exactly we have all we're already learning so much yes. on a daily basis yeah. that it's like do we want to take on something new like this yeah and by taking on something new i mean like hey guess what it's <laughs> time to try out this grace bay <laughs> A little bit of this kind of whiskey because I'm out of now the Amru yeah, and we, we're I don't think your store is on strike. So <laughs> let's go back to this really scary Niagara uh, drink. Would you guys still love us if we drank beer? Uh, do you want to try some of that? Yeah, I'll try some. Okay. This is not just a little though. Thanks. See, after That's that good. first little Emirate fusion, anything yeah. tastes pretty damn. Oh no, Emirate fusion is good. It's good. It's pretty crazy. But no, I mean we're 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 learning so much of this this. 
we're already stretched so thin yeah. that it's like, I do we feel we have the capacity mm -hmm. to learn something else, right? right? A little bit of a fear, right? Yep. Um, of course, behavior, a regular behavior going in, you open up Illustrator, I can fucking close my eyes and, <laughs> and on the mouse, know where everything is. <laughs> yes, exactly. And there's a, there's a comfort to that. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You know, another thing that I think that we, we uh, designers, we are one of the unique careers that defines who we are. Mm -hmm. And I think that's okay. Yeah. Like if you were to be like, I'm a millwright. And it's like, oh, what is that? Right? <laughs> like it's, it's, it's not, it's not, uh, I know I have a lot of respect it, for millwrights. Totally, so yeah, yeah. But I'm saying, you know, it's like, but people don't strive to be a millwright as, as they're who they are, as they identify, right? right. They're like, oh, fuck this. I'm <laughs> nine to five and I'm out. Yeah. But graphic designers, designers are designers. Yeah. This is who we are. Massimo Vignelli was a designer till the day he died. Yep. He lived and breathed it from the moment he woke up till he closed his eyes. Yeah. I very much feel the same way. My kids know exactly what I do. They know exactly what to tell their friends I do. They're, you know, I'm a little off and quirky, but that's, so it's like if you abandon software, it's like, am, am I abandoning who I identify as? Yeah. yeah. There's so many things to deal with here on the soft side skills. Yeah. I'm telling you, right? Totally, totally. Um, peer pressure, maybe yeah. Yeah. from everybody else. Yep. <laughs> I don't know. This is true. Will James still be our friend yeah, if we go yeah, to Infinity? Yeah, I'm going to ask him, yeah, James. That's, yeah, that's true. Right? Um, you know, imposter syndrome probably has something to do with this because then it's like, you're, you're, why are you bouncing from Adobe? Can you handle it? Am I not good enough to keep up with it? Yeah. Am I really as good as I think I am? Maybe uh, I'm not. So you could be dealing with imposter syndrome, some mm -hmm. of this. Um, you know, again, it could be embedded into your workflow, right? Like yeah. there's so many soft skills that you're so comfortable with. I don't know if it's always that easy to like just think that you're going to, you know, it's not just about it's going to take me long to learn mm -hmm. you can always figure that a way around to that it's just yeah. it's everything else that's kind of tied around it yeah totally but i mean there is something frightening about lear learning a new program i mean Oof, yeah. i've done it a bunch of times and it's always awkward at the beginning but once you get a handle on it you're right you're right because we do learn new programs i mean Ciros, yeah is something it's only we've only been using it for two years yeah. three years yeah. completely from scratch and it was awkward at the beginning it but was it now was, i'm like Bleh. it's like you know losing your virginity <laughs> yeah. right a little yeah. awkward exactly. you fumble through it yeah, it's kind of gross you're but... not good at sex and then you're good at sex <laughs> <laughs> but no you're right like i mean we're battling this whole we're yeah. torn yeah with our past and our history, yeah. and then we got to look at the future, yeah. right? So I don't know. Like I think in that sense, it's like there's a couple things to battle with. I, not that it's not not possible. I know it's very possible. Yeah. We're going to share some ideas. Why? Yeah. That yeah. guy in the video, like it's curious. I watched that whole thing. It was like yeah. 20 minutes. It was yeah, very yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. was really mad at at Adobe. He was like, and he looked like he at an agency. Mm -hmm. so he, I think he had a staff. He even mentioned that. What did he do? Like, mm. I would be curious to a follow-up video. Oh, he definitely said he, he was leaving. Because he, he said was he was done. He, he was, was done. done. Yeah. He was done. So I'm like, if you are, like, can you imagine saying to the staff out here, okay, f I'm mad at Adobe. <laughs> We're switching to Affinity. Yeah, it's like, interesting. So, I mean, there's something like that. Like, how did this guy manage his dropping Adobe? Yeah, or how did it work out? Or how did out. it work out? You know out? what? We should reach out. Of course. It would, yeah. He would be good to talk to. I'm curious. I'm Follow curious. Up. Yeah, I'm, cu I'm curious if he's if he's agency or freelancer. Oh, okay. Like Did if you he think? has more. I don't know. Like I, you're right. His he, the way he spoke. Yeah, he was like he was a one man operation, but it didn't oh, look like he was okay. though. No, well, and maybe he was. Hold on, and keep in mind he had a ton of followers. Yes, he did. So he obviously wasn't a one man operation freelancer. Like he was maybe an agency. Maybe he was a YouTube celebrity. Or, I don't know. Like it was an agency could change over yeah okay yeah. not to say that an agency can't absolutely could it's just they would have to go about it different agencies could in the sense that remember i talked about all this shit about um you know it's who you are yeah yeah and you know you got your badges yeah. and this and that well it's your identity an agency is a whole different thing right because an agency is just they're yeah. tied to their deliverable right higher level right yeah. people yeah. aren't focusing on you know lincoln design you know creates really fucking great you know illustrations right yeah, mm -hmm. yeah that's right uh, are they doing it in Illustrator? Uh, are people questioning that? Oh, oh. that they bounce. They're not. They're mm. known for that. That's yeah. tied to who they are. Like nobody even gives a fuck. They could be using Canva <laughs> for all it would matter, but they're video. still Lincoln Design. They do it well, yeah. Right. <laughs> they do Canva well. 
It's going to kick her ass for saying that. But I mean, the reality is it's like, you know, we, you know, it doesn't matter what he's doing it with and what his team, for all we know, each team member there could be using their own software. True. Yeah. It doesn't matter because it doesn't define who they are. Right. Right. Who they are is the agency on a whole. Right. And they've done a fucking great job. They at have. That. So, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, and then. If, if, if as an agency you you were because here unfortunately we're all on on this right yeah but if we were to do a changeover it'd probably be a phased approach right and what I mean by that is I'd probably take some of our and I know this sounds really bad but I'd take some of the younger <laughs> ones who are really quick and curious and eager get them going yeah I'd be like here you learn this yeah. right and let us know how it is yeah and um you know, and then kind of ease into it. And so it's almost like a staggered yeah. start, right? Yeah. So then it's like this way, you always have one person on staff who knows the software, yeah. okay, in case you need to pull up something or it's not compatible. But, you know, you have this staggered start and everybody learns it. So it is possible in an agency environment. So that yeah. guy yeah. could have made that change. I see what you're saying, yeah. That um, I do think, though, that, that freelancers might be, though, um, a little better positioned Big time. to make this. Oh, you think so, too? Mm-hmm. I mean... Because you're 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 lean, you're you're yes. you're you're agile, you're totally on your. You can make that. Yeah. You could be like in an eight-hour day, you know. Now stretch it to ten hours, right. but spend two hours learning new software yep. and making this transition part of your daily routine. Yep. Right. So as a freelancer, it's a little more flexibility, right? Yeah. They can experiment with these tools on like a project by project basis. Yeah. Right. As opposed to on a whole campaign whole, basis right. or retainer basis. Right. They could be like, okay, for this project, I'm going to use infinity, you know, designer, infinity yeah. layout or, or what have you, where I'll stick with this because, um, you know, uh, InDesign has, has been the classic for that. Like, you know what yeah. I mean? Like they could, they could almost stagger start themselves, yeah, exactly. but because lower overhead, they yep. can, they can run a little leaner in that sense. I mm -hmm. think it might be a little easier for freelancers to do something Big time. Like this. Yeah. You're absolutely yeah. right. Yeah. It's financial. It's benefit, beneficial to them to, to. I think so. To look at an option that might. Oh my be, god! Especially know. if the rates keep going up. Like, exactly. Like, you know, and then again, it's like they can. Ah, oh, they're pretty good position for that. This is true. Yeah. You know, but you know, at the same time, if somebody is to be like, "Hey, I'm going to give you nineteen thousand of that twenty thousand dollar annual fee back to you, mm. dude." That's like 20 grand that we could like do more fan expo trips, <laughs> more lunches, yes. more that. Like, think more about whiskey. it. More, wi <laughs> Ooh, more whiskey. <laughs> you, you had me at whiskey. <laughs> true though right like yeah, it's yeah absolutely. it's enticing even mm -hmm. now as we talk through this there's part of me that just that that thinks i want to just to see if i can wow interesting as we talk through this and and i think this isn't i don't think i'm going to end this conversation i think we're going to keep exploring this a little bit more cool. to be honest i think so okay one thing is for sure is i see um huh, and i'm kind of happy about this only because i hate the logo so much but like this i think last week Google released a calendar function mm. that basically does what Calendly does. Oh. So, you know, one of the rules in business is, is don't create a product if your competitor or somebody else, somebody who's already much bigger, much more bloated, more whatever, can do yep. it like that. Yeah. And to think that Google's already got a giant calendar that we all live and breathe with. And guess mm -hmm. what? Fucking Calendly piggybacks on the back of Google Calendar – so then why wouldn't they just do this extra little that so there's something mm. to be said about this right yeah, um, yeah. so basically it's like you know they were at the mercy of google mm -hmm. right do i want to be at the mercy of adobe and i don't know if i do actually yeah, it's really not it's exactly like you talked about before you used to feel like this was your this was your jam they, they had your back this they had my jam. back yeah that's right this is your jam yeah, yeah. and they had your back and yeah you might have stole a product, but I had I had legitimate stuff, you know. Of course you did. I did. No, I'm serious. I did for a while. For but a anyway, while. but but it's like yeah. yeah. But now you are a cog. You're a number. You're yes. a, you're a dollar sign to yes. Adobe, right? Which is eh? which is a shitty way to feel. Yeah. You know? No. Like, no. No. You're right. You're right. You're right. Interesting. You know what? I'm going to explore this because I think I think I think I think just for shits and giggles' sake, at least it'll allow me to answer questions if anybody asks about right. this. Right? It's possible. Wow. Um, I did, however, write down lists on how to go overcome this, right? Okay. But this is how to overcome psychological and soft skills. Not the actual stuff that we we're talking about, the Adobe thing, but I think oh. I think this conversation has helped me overcome 
any sort of loyalty I have to that brand <laughs> doesn't mean I'm bashing it. Loyal again, you know, the, the the software is the most advanced design software out there yeah. right now. It is absolutely. I'm never going to question that. But maybe my reasons for holding on may have just changed after this conversation. You can like something. Yeah. And you are no, you can hate something, but God damn it, you respect it. Oh yeah, exactly. like Anchorman, right? <laughs> so okay, so, so so step number one, mm -hmm. if you guys actually want to overcome this psychological or the soft skills, you know that that are holding you back, right? Yeah. The very first thing, just like we kind of gave, I gave an example about the 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 freelancer doing this. Yep. You don't do it all at once, right? right? Don't jump into it both feet. I get burning bridges. I get like being immersed in it. And I believe in that on so many levels. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to your business and, and you know, when you rely or your, or, or, or your, your income relies on feeding your kids or your, your staff, right? You can't take that risk. So make it incremental. Yeah. Make your learning incremental a yeah. little bit at a time. So when I give the example, the freelancer, they already got an eight hour day. You know what? Suck it up, throw in two more hours. Yeah. Right. And make it part of your learn your work day you know, for a, an extended amount of period. Right. Just to see if, if you're, if this is something you want to do, right? Yeah. So incremental learning, right? Um, and you know, this this actually reduces the overwhelmingness that we're all feeling on technology mm -hmm. because it's just a little bit and it allows you to build the right amount of confidence, but step by step. Yes. Because I hate more than anything when, you know, a piece of software does a new launch and it's like a completely different experience. <laughs> it's like... Dude, just just ease me into it. Don't exactly. show me everything. Just give me one new change and then another one, right? Yes. But you know, introduce this in a logical way. Don't hide yes. it between a bunch of drop downs. Yes. All right. Um, number two, set small goals mm -hmm. for yourself. Okay. Don't plan to re redesign somebody's annual fucking report. Yeah. Two hundred page booklet. Yeah. Let's try it in infinity. Yeah. That that is a good. Um, that's a good burning the big bridge situation. <laughs> yeah, totally. I don't know if you want to add to your existing overwhelming mm -hmm. stress. Yeah. You know, on technology that we have, right? Yeah. Like small goals, right? Break down the learning pro the process into small little measurable goals. Yep. Give yourself small tasks, right? And just kind of like bite them one at a time to mm -hmm. kind of eat that whole damn elephant, there okay? There you go. Um, just like everything else in the world, number three is practice mm. regularly. Yes. Okay? There's that rule of thumb that if you practice something every day for only 15 minutes a day, that's it, 15 fucking minutes a day. Wow. At the end of a year, you will be better than 90% of the people on the fucking world. Wow. Okay? So remember that. So when you want to make this, I'm not asking a lot, nope. and, and and I'm not saying do a lot. I'm saying just do a little bit every day because, you know, learning is doesn't happen, you know, by jamming yourself with information. Yes. It's learning over time. Yes. It's repetition. Yep. Right? So you practice every day a little bit. You're going to start learning these new tools. And, and, and in no time, they're going to be like the old ones for yeah. sure. Right? And, and studies have shown that like cramming eight hours into uh, of learning, you don't retain no, any of that. Exactly. It's like 50 minutes increments and then you got to take a break. Like yes. kind of, and, and everybody knows you get up, you step away for something. All of a sudden you have, oh, hey, I, there's some, a clarity, clarity kind of moment there where you're like, yeah. oh, yeah. And then you back at it. You're fresh. Agree. 100% yeah, agree yeah. on that yeah. one. So Number four. Okay, if you're gonna, if you are gonna embrace this challenge and do this, don't do it necessarily only on live projects ah. because that adds so much more stress to you. Yeah. Do it on personal projects, personal stuff. Work on your own shit, your right. own brand. This is how we ended up doing our website for the Angry Designer because mm. we used podcast software for the initial website and it built this, and then we transformed it into other ones. But I mean, again, you know, don't use it on public facing, you know projects that customers are paying for yes. that you're relying on to, to make a living, to make this change, to pay for the <laughs> software that you're trying to change to, okay? Do it on projects, personal projects, projects for friends, right? Things that are meaningful yeah. and that you'll try for, but aren't critical mm. to your business, yeah. all right? So number five, there's a million online communities for True. everything, okay? I saw communities on GIMP. GIMP's fucking huge. I didn't realize, really? I didn't realize how big it was, but it's wow. massive, right? I can just imagine what affinities look like, hmm. which I'm going to 
and check out. No. But again, look at some of the online communities, right? And even more so online, on YouTube, right? Um, go see what the hell, you know, what there is out there when you, you know, guarantee there's going to be some videos, there's going to be questions, there's going to be groups of people that are on the same flight as you are yeah. with this software, yeah. right? Big so time. don't be scared to reach out to this, yeah. um, to these places. I mean, I get it. I'm a huge fan of Reddit and I already know that I've seen a lot of this kind of stuff on Reddit. Yeah. So people people are feeling it right now. Yeah, um, interesting. You know, leverage all the free resources that you can. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's number six. YouTube, they have it. The, the, the companies have it. You know, there are specialists on YouTube. They have it. They're all there and they're all giving free information because as, as passionate as, you know, friends of ours are about Adobe. Yep there's going to be people that are passionate about these softwares. Big time. So jump on that shit and embrace that, okay? Yeah. Number seven, okay, this one's important, buddy up, okay? <laughs> it's great if you want to do this on yourself, but it's even better if... Sean, yeah. you want to take on the challenge with me? All right. And there's somebody else that you. <laughs> yes. Oh, you saw it. There Done. was a high five. <laughs> but you know, it's 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 cool to have somebody else there that you can talk to, yeah. solve problems with, right? Challenge each other on because that almost ends that gamifies yeah. that whole experience. And yeah. depending on your relationship, <laughs> you could really gamify it a lot. <laughs> but I do think that um, you know, buddying up with somebody else really helps the learning process and it makes it more fun it keeps yeah. you more engaged on totally. that right yeah. yeah and then of course most important number eight stay patient mm. over the whole process and stay positive remember why you're doing this remember you know the reason what that outcome is and keep reminding yourself that yeah some days you're going to be frustrated but let's face it there's always ways around things yeah. okay we've been you know we've been using the same tactics in adobe illustrator now than i was 10 years ago Jeez, in yeah. all fairness yeah okay yeah. there's a lot of new videos and shit and honestly and, I, and i'm so overwhelmed by them i use 10 percent of them yeah yeah okay i'll remember them for the ones that the the, the tricks i use on a regular basis the mm -hmm. rest i'm still relying on shit from 10 years ago yeah so you know don't get frustrated if this platform isn't like what you're used to yeah stay patient Figure out what the workaround could be, yeah. you know, and if it's if it's a, a favorable or, or, or an, an easy or recommended one, then go for then it. Then do it. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Okay. Instead of paste, you know, Apple or sorry, Command V for paste is Command W. I don't know why it would be, but <laughs> you know, learn to live with it because yeah. I mean, there's there's wonkiness in everywhere, right? Be patient with yes. this, and you will get to that point. Yeah. I'm not saying to abandon Adobe, you know, not yet anyway, by no. any means. I'm not, but I'm saying as as somebody who who embraces critical thinking yep. and who I encourage every single person who listens to this fucking podcast to think for themselves, mm -hmm. don't just be a sheep and follow the herd, right. right? Figure it out for yourself. Yeah. Is it worth it? And there's some scary parts that we talked about today that I don't know if I want to um, have my whole future have have somebody grab me by the balls and have that have that grip on there, knowing that okay, right now they're yep. just gently holding them. In the future, they might tighten There's a whip that. Somewhere there's somewhere around something, there. right? And um, I might not like that. Yes, so, exactly. I don't know. Yes, it, it, that's that's funny because it, there's there's a lot more grumbling. I think with people nowadays with Adobe, it used to oh, be yeah. you, you never heard that before. It was kind of one of those things, but now there are seriously pissed off people that yes. Adobe Adobe is crossing a line here. Yes, agreed, hundred percent. So if they if they're not careful, I don't think they're as big as Google. You know what I mean? Like I in, in, that, I in that space, like oh, no, Google no, no. owns the. They're still a billion dollar company, but are, but yeah, but there could be there is room for competition to kind absolutely of come is. up and take a yeah. bit of their lunch, right? Well, absolutely. And again, everything happens. You know, nothing happens like this overnight. Like I'm, I mean, look at Google. Yeah. Right. I never ever in a million years would have thought that anybody could touch Google. Nope. All of a sudden came Chat GPT, oh, came yes. all these other up, other, all these other ways to search mm -hmm. for content. That yeah, all of a sudden yeah. it's like, I can honestly say, me personally, yep. my Google, my my time on Google has dropped to probably twenty percent of what it once was. Interesting, hundred percent, hundred percent. So they are they are now getting eighty percent less ad revenue dollars from me than they yep. were. 
two years ago. Right. How many other people like me are there out there? Yeah. Which is why Google is, is feeling this pressure right now. Yep. And could this translate to design software? Could this translate to all forms of business, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know if a company's ever, you know, so big that they're gonna be around forever. Yeah. No. Right. And that's and I, right. especially these yeah. companies, right? Yeah. So yeah. yeah. That's an interesting analogy. Yeah, that's that's true. There, so there was something 100%. that, that kind of took a little bit of what Google was doing. Yeah, and did it better. Yep, which is the best part. Yeah, because it's very much more beneficial. Yep. to you mm -hmm. when you do a Google search for something, it's fucking. It's a disaster. It's a disaster. It's, a disaster. it's chaos. It's chaos. <laughs> but I mean, you know what? Again, same thing. Some people may have been paying. Hundred bucks a month for Calendly. Yeah. Well, guess what? Yeah. Now their email software, Google, does ninety percent of what their Calendly did. Yeah. And it's already included in their Google, in their fucking Gmail. So yeah. yeah. How easy is it for them to now switch? Yeah. So there's got to be some sort of value to it, but you know, some of this value, in, whether it's price for me, whether it's um. Well, you know, whether it's realizing that they don't really give a shit about nope. designers, they that this really is care. just all, we are just being marketed to now yep. into thinking that they give a shit, Yeah. right? So I don't know. There's some there's some stuff in this this podcast that's kind of made me rethink everything. Yeah, but, totally. Um, this is a yeah. food for thought kind of Yeah, stay podcast. tuned. See how yeah. this plays out. Yeah. I might just give up and be like, oh, fuck it. I'm, <laughs> oh, it's too, too much, right? Cognitive <laughs> overload. <laughs> Cognitive overload. <laughs> But there's part of me that's saying, I think it's time to kind of like maybe, maybe, maybe make a change on yep. something. So we'll see. We'll right see. Right on. Yeah, whatever. I love it. Cool. I love a challenge. Yeah. Ooh, right. <laughs> yeah, I do. Okay, we will. <laughs> I'm scared to death. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. Hold me. <laughs> cool. I got my buddy, so I'm good. <laughs> okay, we're almost at our hour mark. Oh, so, wow. Yeah, I know. We're trying to keep it under an hour for you guys. Sorry, so. but this was a really... Interesting topic. This was fucking great. Uh, yes. Yeah. 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 This was cool. Yeah. Cool. All right. Okay. We'll shut it up. Okay. Sorry. Listen, guys, don't be scared to think for yourselves. Mm -hmm. Don't be scared to make that change. Um, I'm not supporting one brand or another right now, but I do feel that I've been let down mm -hmm. personally. Yep. in some ways, and now I don't feel as special as I once did. Aww. And that's, I, I might be blind right now because I got, God knows Apple doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> but one thing <laughs> Apple does do is when I go into that store, boy, do they make me feel feel like they give a fuck they love you there they yes. do right and 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 i'm not sure i'm feeling that 100 percent with um everything that i've had my experience with adobe as of recently yeah. i'm seeing this shit online it's making me kind of second guess you know where what that future looks like um and that's all it is it, to, to add an extra point to it sure. when you go in i've had a couple of computers that i've had to fix when you go in and the apple care is absolutely outstanding they will take care of you Wow! when it comes to their... Wow. But if apparently what I've read, if you have a problem with Adobe and you call them, you could get the runaround. Dude, like, I had three different countries <laughs> calling me, time zones. I had people See? who... I, nobody knew what the hell was going on. I That's, gave up. I gave up. Yeah. Okay, a thousand dollars worth of bullshit. I was like, I can't handle you guys anymore. Wow. Fuck off. And that was it. And then of course, what happens? Three months later, oh, I see that this <laughs> membership is coming due, and we haven't received your payment. I'm like, yeah. are you fucking? <laughs> I, I, that's it. I, Fuck I, I, you. Oh. So there's something to be said about yeah. this. Yes, there is. exactly. And that's. That's caring for your customer. Like yeah. if you got a problem yeah. with their product, you're right. you can go into Apple. And so they far, take Apple care does. Yes, they really yes, do yes. a good job. In that. Yeah, I but can't say I'm Adobe feeling the does same not. Exactly. And they've got to fix that, I think. And and he, who knows what's going to happen with government intervention when oh. the government comes after you for shady practices? Something's that's some up, right? Serious business. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah there's it's pretty questionable right now. Ooh, we yeah. fix it. Fix it, Adobe. Guys, think for yourself on this. There are so many alternatives out there, um, and I'm not supporting one or the other yet, but I am saying think for yourselves, see what you feel like, you know, uh, read up on what's going on right now with Adobe and everything else and see how you feel and uh, drop us a line. Let us know on our Instagram what you feel about this, or if you're watching us on YouTube, hit us up there and 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 join in the conversation because I'm curious how this is going to play out because, yeah, totally. um, you know, it's pretty hot right now and, and hey, who knows what's going to happen in the mm -hmm. next few weeks? Totally. Cool. <laughs> All right, everybody. My name is Massimo. And my name is John. Stay creative. And stay angry. And kind of stay loyal, but to yourself, not to the software that you use. Peace. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Self-control is
wanna be the greatest Everybody on the face shit I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest I make this every day and I'm impatient Hoping one day I blow up from the basement Statement, the top is so vacant I don't need shit that I think is amazing Waiting for my day when I'm playing Sold out shows for a thousand faces Hey, give me that crown Get in my way and you'll be put down It ain't your place, all this my town If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now I'm losing it, the noose it fits, some loose shit, a stupid myth You choose to live or choose to dip, you choose to fight or lose your grip and lose a gift oh. I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please Lord, give me a sign 